the the, the Bears obviously will will have the the number one pick and they can kind of do what they want now. Like, do we think uh, Drake May or, or, or Caleb Williams? Do, do we think it's a lock that it's Caleb? Do we think it's Drake? Who, who, who do you, who do you think will be the uh, the, the first pick, Sammy? I, I know we made a we made a good case for for Drake a couple of months ago. Do you think that's changed? Caleb's still more likely. I mean, obviously he's the favorite. L- let's just say, let's call it five teams are desperately in need of a quarterback, and maybe there are five teams that would entertain, you know picking number one overall. Obviously, the Bears are going to have number one, and I don't think they're going to keep it. So there might be five teams that trade up to do it. I think three of the five would take Caleb. Maybe one of them takes Drake. Maybe one of them falls for Michael Penix in the national championship game if Washington wins. I mean, I I have no idea what NFL organizations are thinking, and I'm not going to pretend like I do. But in terms of mathematics, of the five teams that I believe need a quarterback and would potentially move up to go number one, I think three of the five, sixty percent, would take Caleb Williams. Wait, wait. So it's gonna, the, the Bears it's are going to keep too, Justin yeah. Fields? Is that? I don't wait, think so. The Bears are keeping Justin Fields. Is that what we're going with here, Sammy? I think they do. They yeah, they trade out. They're keeping Fields, right? I've said that all year. So I, they're if gonna, they wait, so the Packers out of the playoffs. They're gonna <laughs> they're gonna think long and hard about it. <laughs> so they're gonna keep Fields, and that means they're picking up his fifth year option, or they're extending him like a long term contract, like a. $40 million a year guy. Is that because you, 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 if you pass on Caleb Williams or Drake may, you're saying that Justin Fields is our long-term quarterback, right? I mean, you're not passing on him for right. one year of one more audition year for fields, right? So you're, you paying him $40 million a year to be your quarterback. That, that'd be insane. Okay. But like I said, of the, like, if they keep the pick, they're going to take Caleb. If they trade the pick, somebody else is going to yes. take Caleb, but I feel still has two years left of team control. And I know this is the college football show, but look, there's a, there's a serious thing going on in that locker room right now where the team wants to keep fields. And if, if they bounce the Packers out of the playoffs, I'm not saying it's the right decision, but you put fields and you put Marvin Harrison on one side and DJ Moore on the other, and you draft Latu or Dallas Turner, or maybe you take another tackle, like you can win next year with fields. And then, you know, the fifth year is obviously a different conversation, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I, That's the thing. Will. I, I it, it's in Jeff. I mean, I mean, it, 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 yeah, it is the college pod, not the pro pod, but it, but it, I think it's it all kind of comes together here because you're looking at would you rather pay fee? Because I, I think there's a there might be a benefit either way, and I, I'd like to get all of your opinion on this, and and maybe Jeff, just because you're so fam- you're more familiar with the dynamic of it, having lived through it. Like, would you rather pay Fields and get pick up his fifth year option and extend him, and then have a butt end? you trade out of one and you're getting a couple of other rookies, immediate rookie starters on rookie deals around him. And you're able to kind of get and get lower, lower cost people around him. Or would you rather say, okay, we're not paying fields. We're moving on from, we're trading him. We're going to take Caleb number one. We're going to have the rookie deal and you can spend the money elsewhere around it for veteran guys. So I, I think, I think there's an argument to be made in both scenarios. Isn't there Jeff? I don't think there's any argument to be made. You, you okay. pay Justin Fields uh, and, and you build around him. Look, Justin Fields has not been efficient passer in his first three seasons as starting quarterback. He's a great athlete. He makes some good throws. He obviously is very athletic and he can run. But the, the question becomes, guys, is he going to turn into the efficient passer you need to win a Super Bowl? Like that, that's what it comes down to right. in the NFL. Yeah, being able to, 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 move in the, to move is great. Being able to navigate the pockets even better. But the, the the Super Bowl champions guys are guys that throw efficiently from the pocket. Okay, um, does he throw efficiently enough from the pocket? History will tell you. He's got three if, picks in three if, years. If, if you're if you're inefficient through two years, you're very rarely an efficient quarterback the rest of your career. Josh Allen's a breaker of that mold. But now three years of of, of being an inefficient passer. Now all of a sudden he's going to break out and be a, a good passer. Now in year four, five, six, seven. There's I think there's two quarterbacks. And sort of like the last, the modern era. I mean, it's a long time, but like, like let's say 30 years. It's Alex Smith and Josh Allen who started their careers as inefficient passers. And then year, th- year three, four, five, six became something else, right? Alex Smith, obviously, when Harbaugh got there, transitioned to a better passer than with Andy Reid. And then obviously we saw what Josh Allen has done really in year two and on. And so is that the path for fields? I mean, look, I'm never going to say no. It can certainly happen. But you have the ability to draft Caleb Williams 
And then the ability to have another first round pick that you have, right? You have two first round picks. You use that on someone to help him. And you have a young quarterback, which is the way that everyone's building, right? Patrick Mahomes is the first quarterback, I think, to win a Super Bowl commanding over 12% of the salary cap is some, something like that. I mean, are you paying fields $40 million a year and winning a Super Bowl? I, I don't see it, Will. And he's not going to, you know, him, his agent, he's not going to say, all right, I'll, I'll take a discount or whatever. I mean, he's going to want a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Even these average quarterbacks get a lot, a lot of money. And it just, it, it, that GM didn't draft him. And you worry with his play style too. Can you keep him healthy? He runs a lot, takes a lot of sacks, takes a lot of hits. I think they've been, look, he's played okay. He's he's improved, but I think they're winning really with uh, an improved defense. The Bears defense, their emergence has been one of the more unpredictable stories of the year. I mean, we were sitting here at the beginning of the year. That team was just a disaster. They lost, what, 40 one nothing to the Chiefs. They played unbelievable defense. And the best thing you can have in the NFL, the way the salary structure and everything, is a good defense and a quarterback on a rookie deal. And if you can just put Caleb Williams or May with that defense, you trade Fields. Fields has played well enough where he's going to get you a pick. And that's another conversation. What's he worth? Is he, can you get a one? Is it a three? Is it somewhere in between? Mm. But you add that to the, the pick with, with, with all your other picks, your own pick, the Carolina pick. I mean, you're in good shape here. I would just, to me, the money and the injury concern with Fields would keep me off of paying him. I don't know that they're going to do it. Maybe this, these wins, this streak has talked him into, Hey, we'll run it back with fields. If I'm the bears, I, I want the younger, cheaper player. And, and I'll build that way. That said though, that said, and again, I never said pay fields big time. I said, you have fields under yes, you control. Did. Next yes, year, you did. And then you I have the fifth year. Right. Okay. Yeah. They have a better chance to win with Justin fields or a rookie quarterback that paints his nails. I'll wait. Nails. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Nails. I picture Jeff but, Schwartz. Yeah, I picture you, a Simi. grizzled. I picture a grizzled Jeff Schwartz at age thirty after a big loss. Jeff Schwartz comes back to his locker, and the quarterback is crying in Jeff's arms. And Jeff's like, "It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay." <laughs> Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds, and let's celebrate all of our wins together.